Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It has been a while since I have spoken to you. Now, I'm going to be honest, since Makers, I've been a little bit burnt out on woodworking and YouTube. I'm trying to get back into it. Now, I'm trying to get back into this with a nice, simple project. Now, my boy has a friend and she is, let's say, she loves Harry Potter. Now, her birthday is coming up. And we were wondering, what can we get her for her birthday? And I thought, I know, Mark from Shop Dog Workshop sent me this a while ago, which is some nice barrel, I don't know what type of barrel, in some beautiful blue resin. And I've also got some feathers in some purple resin. Now I thought that added to the bottom. That's a pretty good wand size. So somewhere at the back there, under all the junk, is a lathe. So I'm going to get that out, I'm going to attach these together, and then we're going to turn a simple resin and wood wand. So first thing on the list is to stick these together somehow. Now, this has got a very rough end from where it was turned. So what I need to do is chop that off, scuff all of these, or sorry, key, I believe it's called, all of the surfaces so I can stick that together. Now, normally I use Gorilla Glue, but I've got some Everbuild two-part epoxy here, which should work perfectly fine. I have checked with some experts on this. And yeah, I'm going to attach that together because I, I want to create use this block at the bottom to create like a ball on the end. So then when you're holding the wand, you've got something to add like a more of a butt stop. This will be the first time I've turned resin, so this is going to be interesting. So let's see how this one goes then, shall we? Now I've got no idea how much to use. I suppose I could just stay here, but I do have other stuff I need to do. So I'm just going to leave that like that and hope that it sets okay. I'm really hoping this looks super cool in the end, because Ollie's friend is the sweetest little girl and I want to make her something that looks awesome. Okay, so while that is gluing, so that's going to be five, ten minutes, I am going to drag out this lathe. So this is the Lumberjack SWL350. Uh, I bought this to do the mallet handles for the Maker Central mallets. It makes the building of my beautiful four blacksmith style mallets so much easier. I'm still not massively au okay with it. Need to get a few bits for it, like a new chuck and stuff like that to make a few of the smaller things that I do easier. Brilliant little machine. Now just to get it out. One thing I haven't done with this machine yet is actually secure it to this worktop thing that I've put together. So I'm going to find some screws, some washers, and get this one nicely secure to the actual bed. Nuts and bolts. Do I nut and bolt? If I've got nuts and bolts, I'm going to nut and bolt it. How about... No. A little longer than a few minutes later. While I'm getting this all sorted, why don't you head over to the Brookswood Builds website and pick up yourself one of these beautiful new shirts. This is the Brookswood Builds Weapon Design shirt, which shows all of the beautiful giant weapons that I've made in the past for Maker Central and all the giveaways and things like that, the giant axe, the hammer. So go and check it out. Really nice quality shirt, very nice, nicely built, and you can rep some Brookswood Build merch. So head over to the website. I'm going to finish this. And we're going to go from there, so go on off your tunnel. Oh wait, it's fine, just leave this plane in the background. It doesn't take long. So I need to get this mounted roughly in the middle. So I'm going to take this, lightly mark the centre, which will give me a starting point at least, because then I can put a little punch in there and get this mounted up into here, which will fit. Oh, I was worried about it not fitting. Um, and then yeah, we can start turning. So what I'm trying to do now is just... Oh, what? What's going on here? Where is it? What on earth makes you think I know? Round this off, but this giant flat spot is annoying me.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so this is where we are. So I've started making the wand. It hasn't gone to plan. It's a little bit thicker than I want it to be. And the connection point at the top snapped off and I'm getting lots of chip out and it's not going well. So because of that, I need to have a play with the lathe. In the meantime, I have made this. So this is just a nice bit of oak um, with some Rubio Violet on it in order to give it a nice uh, bluey green colour. It's got seven little markings in them there because the little girl's birthday is a seventh birthday. So I thought that was nice. But this is my backup plan. Okay, so what I'm doing at the moment is undoing this side panel so I can see what the drive belt setup is on this machine. So for the resin, I believe I need to be doing it quicker. I'm not quite turning it quick enough. So we're gonna get this apart and see what the setup is and see if we can make it a little bit quicker. So let me grab you and we can see what we're looking at, shall we? Right, hello. So, there we go. So we got little wheel, big wheel, big wheel, little wheel. Cardboard box. Um, according to this, this is my change of speed. The further out I go, the better. So I'm going to put it on this one and try and get it to 2150 2, RPM because it's currently set on 1750. Which is interesting. So I need to try and get it a little bit quicker. But thank you very much to Mark from Shop Dog Workshop and Nick Zametti for the advice they've given me on this project. They are the masters of resin in my eyes. So trying to turn resin when I've only actually ever turned one thing in the past is very interesting to do. Currently, this is holding up a treat. After reading the instructions, I believe I need to undo these bolts just a smidge which will loosen the motor, apparently. Ah, there we go. So that has loosened the motor, which means I can then squidge this belt over, push down, and do these back up. So with that now done, in theory, this should be a little bit quicker. Right, let's do this. First thing I need to do before I remount this is cut that tip off and attempt to get it roughly square. And then I can remount it to the lathe. <laughs> that might be an issue. Hmm. Not a very good one now. Ah, words I don't want to say on YouTube. Well, I guess this has turned from a let's make a wand video Let's see how quickly Paul can make a mess of things on a lathe. Because I now have three pieces of this one, when there's only really meant to be one. A wand that breaks into three pieces isn't going to help defeat Voldemort, is it? I mean, maybe if it's stuck together really, really well. So I don't know what happened with this. If you get any light, onto why you think this happened, then leave me a comment in the description. I would love to hear why this didn't work. Is it because of the barrel that's in it, the weak barrel, or is it because of the resin? I don't know. Yeah, I have honestly no idea. No idea. 
Now, the only bonus that I can glean from this is that it was a good learning experience of turning resin, things like that. And Ollie's friend does still have a lovely solid oak wand for a birthday present. So like I said, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think I did wrong. And we'll go from there. If there's anything else you think I can try with the lathe to make it better, let me know because I really want to turn some resin again. So please get in the comments. Let me know what I should try next, what I can do differently to get a better setup for it. So don't forget, like, comment and subscribe if you haven't, if you feel like I've earned that like and subscribe anyway. And if you haven't already, check out the Brooks with Build merch on the website. There are some lovely different colours, different different designs, so check it out. So now I've got to go and plan my next build. So I'll see you soon. Laters.